they're obviously identifying it as a growth area. And would you say, sort of, as someone who's been in and around the sports of endurance um, over the years, that is this a good thing? About the ultra, do you mean specifically? Yeah, specifically yeah. about the ultra, but also in general, in terms of the endurance sports. I think it's great in general. Um, you know, the fitter the population can be, the better it is for everybody. And it's a special sort of enjoyment and health that we get from regularly doing sport. I think that's brilliant throughout in whatever whatever your bag is. Um, ultra running specifically, I think maybe a few people go into it a bit blind and they maybe do themselves a bit of damage because they don't listen to podcasts like yours and prepare properly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I think it's not, you know, running 50, 100K, 100 miles, doing these backyard things, whatever it may be. It's not, it's not a particularly normal thing in the sense that it's not what we're used to it's not what society's used to but it's also not what the body's used to so to get yourself to do that you've got to be gradual and you've got to build up in a sensible way and take the right precautions so um i'd be worried if you know instead of the london marathon we had the london 100 mile and there was forty thousand people lining up who hadn't trained properly but i do in general i do think it's a good thing and i think it's great that people are getting out into new terrain running off road you know enjoying a new a new type of sport it sounds like a lot of these courses are really picturesque there's technique involved in climbing descending you know getting through different types of surfaces yeah it's interesting as well yeah no I, I you know sort of echo what you're saying there about the the idea of there being maybe like the the 100 mile ultra london marathon <laughs> yeah. or whatever um and you know i think something that i often refer to but to be honest it's very anecdotal. I don't have any proof of this, but when I started running in 2009, doing a half marathon was considered quite a big thing. Mm. And then it kind of progressed on to the marathon. And although that was my natural journey, now it's almost like to the everyday population that a marathon is no longer enough. And, <laughs> you know, I've got this impression talking to people out there that they want, they want more, they want the next thing. And ultra running is obviously quite an obvious thing for that i didn't know if you had yeah. any thoughts on that at all yeah i heard you say that i know exactly what you mean i think that is true for a certain section of the sporting population yeah the ones who are driven by that desire to see how far they can go or how far they can push themselves and like you say i think as you, you quite rightly say that a half marathon is now in that section of the population anyway, not seen as that big a deal. And likewise, the marathon and from the marathon, it's the Ironman, isn't it? And then I think from the Ironman, people do go into ultra running or even the um, ultra distance triathlons as well, because you get these uh, double Ironmans and Ultraman and all that, which is, uh, yeah, even perhaps even more crazy. 